We are back again and in this lesson we are going to learn how to make a quiz. Making quizzes is something that is really easy to do and they give you so many wonderful options on how to make the quiz. So for example you can go into to your quizzes tab right here and you can make your quiz there. I don't really like that approach to it. I prefer to take and make my quizzes by going into the um, module and just clicking the plus sign again and click quiz and then click new quiz. So let's take and set this up as we will call it lesson 5 quiz and I'm going to stick this in a quiz and I'm going to hit OK and boom there's going to be the actual quiz. From here I just click on it and I'm going to go to edit and now we're going to set it up how we want. Start off by giving instructions choose the best answer for each question. It is going to be a graded quiz and I honestly don't know what these others are. I would like, guess I need to learn that for y'all. What uh, I've already established that we're putting in the quizzes category and we're going to take and we're going to shuffle the answers. So in each, if we were to copy a, a question or whatever, the, or the, excuse me, as the students are looking at a multiple choice question, they're all not going to have the answers in the same order. So there, the multiple choice will be in a different order on everybody's um, test, the same with any matching type things. Now, do I want to allow multiple attempts? Nah, we talked about this before. We could. We could say how many multiple attempts we wanted, and we could say do you want to get the highest score, the latest score, or the average. But we're just going to do that as a single thing. Do I want to let students see their responses? Sure, and I'll We'll also let them see the correct answers. And then finally, show. Um, do I want to show one question at a time? And we're going to do that on this one just so you guys can see what it looks like. Lock questions after answering. That means that once your child or your student pushes next, they cannot go back and change that answer. I, that's just plain mean. All right? That's just plain mean. Um, you could also, of course, put a time limit on here if you want. That is entirely up to you. And for some of my, excuse me, th things like vocab quizzes, I may give them one minute per vocab word. That should be more than enough time to do a matching vocab quiz. And that is your first page. But we're not going to push save or anything yet because we need to go through the next tab here, the questions. Um, mastery paths. The way the mastery path works, as I understand it, is they have to go through a series. They can't move on to the next question until the previous question has been done correctly. So that's a mastery path. We're not doing that. We're just going to do individual questions. And we have so many question types we can choose. So let's start off with question number one. And we can do, wow, look at all of those choices. So true or false Mr. Reach is the most awesome teacher in the middle school and of course that's going to be a true statement and we're going to hit update and that question's done now let's do another type of question uh, we'll call this question number two and then we're going to take and call this a multiple choice and let's take and say what color is the sky and we can take up oh, this had been a true or false on the last one so it set it up as true or false here which reminds me let me go back and look at this just real quick yep it set up as true and there's false is the other answer so I'm going to update that again now for this one we're going to say red green oh if I see right over here I'm hitting add another question blue or 
brown, maybe with that Sahara sandstorm. Now, currently red is selected as a correct answer, but we can change it to be blue just by clicking on the green arrow. We can also put in comments here. For example, I could take and say awesome if they selected that. Come on. And if they selected red, I'd say, do you live on Mars? If they selected green, I'd say, pea green? Whoops. And if they selected brown, I would say, like a stinking pile of poo. So now there's actual feedback and you don't have to do the feedback. I don't generally do the feedback. I'm hit done on each of those that I do the feedback on. I don't generally do feedback. I just do right or wrong and we're going to hit update the question. And you notice also, well, let me go back and open one of these. These are currently set for one point each. You see one point was set here, one point set there. And you can set the point value for each question. And I'll give you an example of a place you want to do that here in just a minute. Now, let's take and do a new question. And this time, we're going to take and do a fill in the blank. And for the fill in the blank, we're going to say, what is the last name of the coolest teacher at the at, excuse me, Gulf Shores Middle School. Give you the hint. It is not Gill. And you can put in lots of possible ways you can do it. For example, you can type in Reeds, and then you can say, well, we'll give credit for Mr. Reeds, though, and we'll also give credit for Mr. Reeds without a period in, after Mr. But this last one here, we're going to go ahead and delete that because that's not going to be an option, and we're going to update the question. Once again, you can also take and put in comments to go with their, when they select the answer. Now, what about a two or three pointer? Let's say we want to do, and this is where, oops, I didn't rename that one, so let me, let me take and name that one question three. So that's question three, update, and now this will be question four, update. And this is one of my favorite things about Canvas, is that you can do multiple fill in the blanks. So for multiple fill in the blank, I could say answer the following question. Uh, I'm not typing very well today, am I? One, what, excuse me, who is the coolest teacher at Offshore's? middle school. Two, what subject does he teach? And let's come on in three, what is his dog's name? Now, if you look up here, it says in the t box below, each place you want to show an answer box, type a reference word. No spaces or surrounded by brackets. For example, roses are, and then they have a parenthesis color. Now you notice there's no space between color one and uh, color in one and color in two. So, so we're going to take right here. I'm going to put the bracket. Excuse me, not braces. They're brackets. I'm going to take name and close the bracket and then I'm going to come down here what does he teach I'm going to say subject close the bracket and then of course what is the dog's name so I'm going to hit dog and close the bracket under the name possible answers we could say reads could say Mr. Reads 
Uh, oops. Or we could say Mr. Reach without the period. Under subject, we could say math, mathematics, algebra, algebra 1, advanced math. There's some of the good possible choices. And then go up here one more time. Dog's name. Only one answer for that. That is radar. And so we're going to delete this extra option right here. And now we're going to update the question. Now if I hit show question details, that's going to show you what it's actually going to look like for the students. So here you've got the true or false and it shows you what the correct answer is. Here it is what color is the sky and it shows you what the question answer is. And here it is um, what's the last name name of the coolest teacher in the middle school. Possible correct answers for filling the blank. And then here there's each of the questions and so you can take the name, the subject, and the dog and see all the possible correct answers there. And I think, is there a way to preview this from here? I don't think so. I think we have to actually have to preview it once we publish it. Um, yeah, there's no way to preview it there. All right, so let's put in another new question. Oh, wait, one more thing. That was three questions, so we're going to make that one worth three points because it has more questions involved in it. Now for another new question. This will be question number five. And... Um, let's do a matching and then I think we're going to quit there. Some other choices you can see here of course fill in multiple, multiple blanks we just did and fill in the blank we've done multiple answers means that um, so for that one this question will show a check black box next to each answer and the student must select all the correct answers so for example you could say um, hmm Let me think about it. What pets live in the REITs household? And for that one, we need to have lots of different answers here. Lots of different answers. So we could take and say dog. And we can say and a dog is going to be a true one. We can say ducks, and ducks are going to be a true one. We can say dragons, and dragons are going to be a true one because we do have a pet dragon, a um, bearded dragon. We can say, let's see here, what am I missing? Oh, yes, cats. And we can take and say finches. And, oops, I didn't say yes to the cats. And then let's go and throw down maybe horses or something like that. And then my wife just told me I have to put in a goat. So we're going to put in a goat. We don't have a goat, but she really, really wants to have a goat. So there are some possible answers. And when you take and look at that one, these are the things the students have to choose from. And then these are the correct answers. So it's a multiple answer type of question. And, and you can select that to be more points or less points if you want to, but we're just going to leave it at one point. And then finally, that was question five. Let's do question number six. Now, there is an essay question on that one. I think you're going to have to grade those by hand if you put in essay questions. There is also file uploads that you're going to have to grade by hand, text and whatnot. But I want to talk to you about the matching. Matching is the bomb when it comes to doing vocabulary quizzes in here. So let me take and go to my website. And on my website, I'm going to take and go to some definitions. So I want to do a definition quiz. So we're just going to do a few definitions. So here's... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, choose the best term for each definition and here's the term and here's come on do it for me here's the definition here's the term 
and here's the definition and we're just going to do four of these so you could take I put as many as 15 or, or more terms in there before and it works just fine that way it's kind of hard on the students when they're sorting through that many terms but hey they can handle it commutative property would be for that one and then the last one we're going to take and say the associative property one and of course if you needed more terms you just click this right here and from there we're going to take an update question and there's going to be your matching all this left is save and publish and this is going to be a quiz for you guys to take so you um you're going to need to just to give you some practice on taking quizzes and seeing what it looks like for the students and then after you're done with this quiz i'm going to have you take a screenshot of that quiz and upload it to the computer or squeeze screenshot of your grade and upload it to the computer of course with the max all you have to do is hit um, I believe it's shift function F sh three no it's shift function three or shift function four it allows you to take and do that if you're using a PC I like this software right here screenshot capture is a free download and it gives you a lot of options for doing screenshots and downloading them to your computer that pretty much sums up this one hope you find it useful let me know if you have any questions and we will talk to you soon